Clicking on the community link will allow you to explore possible team members through interactive visualizations. By default, your user node will be selected. You can see all of your answers to your questions. And you can click on other people to see the answers that they put in for their questions. You can clear the selected nodes at any time by just clicking in the background of the visualization. Anytime there's a detail panel on the right-hand side of the screen, hovering over items in that panel will highlight them in the network on the left. The panel on the far left allows us to group and filter our network. Grouping by the culture question, for example, allows us to see the people who said they prioritized project outcome on the right in orange and those who prioritize group experience on the left in blue. You'll notice that as I drag the nodes, they stay where I leave them, which is helpful for organizing a network as it becomes complex. If I want to return a node to its natural position, I can double click on it and it will pull back into place. The filter menu on the left lets me filter down my network based on the answers to one or more of the onboarding questions. If you want to clear your filters, you can clear them all using the option over on the right at the top, or you can deselect the filters individually from the filter menu on the left. Clicking on the circles of the network legend allow you to add in different elements to the network diagram. In this case, looking at collaboration style and how it's connected to different people. If your network becomes too big to fit on the screen, you can zoom in or out using your trackpad or scroll wheel. And you can click and drag in the background to pan the network. As you click on more elements with the legend, use hover to see what they are and use position to organize your network to see where the overlaps are between certain groups or people. If you want to be able to keep a bunch of different labels on the screen at the same time, you can multi-select by holding down the command key as you click a variety of different nodes. After you've done this, you can still drag those nodes around so that the labels don't collide with each other. And this makes it so that you can create a view in which you can look at a particular dimension of the data, like role preference. Or you can then click this layer off and turn on the sustainable development goal interest and see particular goals that certain people have in common. In order to see everything that you and another person has in common, you can click on that person's node and a compare button will show up in the panel on the right. Clicking this compare button will bring up the overlap page. In the middle are all of the answers that you and the other person have in common. On the left are the answers specific to you and on the right, are the answers specific to them. If you select exactly two users that aren't you, you can compare those two users using the overlap page as well. As you experiment with different configurations of the network, sometimes your groups will be completely distinct and sometimes they'll be highly overlapping. You can experiment with positioning the nodes to see the overlaps more clearly and using the legend to turn off elements so that you're just looking at the overlaps. You can always just refresh the page to start over entirely. The magnifying glass in the top left allows you to search for particular nodes of interest. But keep in mind that it'll only search based on the nodes that are currently visible in your view. So if you don't find what you're looking for in the autocomplete, try adding more elements using the legend and then search again and see if it shows up. If you have any problems using the network, there are a number of help resources available under the question mark menu. We'll make additional videos available as the course progresses, and you can always request support by clicking on the request support link. Have fun exploring.